Before, uh, before we do more praise and worship, we're going to take some time to just celebrate the Lord's table and remember what he did for us. But before I do that, I would like all the people that in the service, who've ever been in the service or currently in the service, I want you to stand, if you can stand. If you could just give them a hand. <laughs> Stay standing. I want, stay standing a second. Ray, stay standing a second. This, this represents people who are willing to sacrifice their freedom for our freedom, their liberty for our, our liberty. A lot of them have faced some things they don't want to talk about. A lot of them have undergone, really, a, a lot of suffering for you to be free in a country that you are enjoying. So thank, thank you for standing. You may be seated. But this is a representation of a, really, we have a great country. I was thinking about it earlier. There's a story that goes like this. And you might have heard the story, but there's a, uh, a man died, a prominent man in a local town died. And he had a brother. And they were both really very rich men, but they were bad men. They were loan sharks. They would steal everybody's money. They were terrible men, but they were loaded. They had a ton of money. And before this funeral... The one brother who was still alive called in the, the pastor and said, hey, I'll tell you what, if you do an amazing eulogy for my brother, just, just talk him up, say he's great. Tell, tell every, if you tell the people that my brother's an angel, I will build you a new church. So the pastor goes, all right, that's a deal. So they have the funeral, and it's eulogy time, and the pastor stands up and he says, John was a horrible man, stole people out of millions John was a liar. He was a thief. John was an ungodly man, but compared to his brother, he was an angel. <laughs> and that's, you know, so when I think of America, I sort of think of, you know, I, when I think of patriotism, I sort of think of it like that. Compared to other countries, we have it great. We have an amazing country. We have amazing freedoms. Compared to other countries, we have liberties and we have things that other, other people would love to have. That's why there's all this talk about a wall, because we do have some great amenities living here in the United States. But compared to Jesus in the kingdom of heaven, you've got to be kidding me. I want you to open up the book of Colossians. Colossians chapter 1. In verse 11, Colossians 1.11 says, May you be strengthened with all power according to his glorious, night, his glorious might for all endurance and patience with joy. And then verse 12 says, Giving thanks to the Father who has qualified you. Qualified means giving you the ability to. God has qualified you, made you able to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. He has delivered us from the dominion of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of the beloved Son in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. So what this is saying is because there is a man who sacrificed his life, he has transferred us over into a new kingdom. Compared to the United States, heaven is amazing. The United States is great. I, don't get me wrong. I love it. I, my grandfather... My grandfather was in World War I in Germany. He was in the Argonne Forest, got mustard gas on his leg. I talked to my dad about my grandfather. I never met my grandfather. My dad said, yeah, I couldn't really talk to him about it because he just said it was my duty. I just, it was my duty. My nation called, I went. My dad was an MP. My dad loved our country. My dad, my dad felt everybody should at least give a couple years to fight for the freedoms that we have. So I, I'm very patriotic. I love red, white, and blue. But I'm telling you, compared to the kingdom of light, we live in darkness. Deep, deep, dark. We have, we have a sad country right now in a lot of ways. We need to pray for it. But, but our job isn't to call people to a better country. Our job isn't to fight for a better president. Our job is to call people to a savior who died 
so you can go and live forever in the kingdom of his beloved son. That's an amazing gift we have. And sometimes I don't think we talk about that enough. We get caught up into, boy, did you hear transgenders are going into the military? Yeah, that's a, that's a sad thing, I think, personally. But compared to what we can talk about, that's what this table's about. We remember it every month. Because this is the sacrifice that gave you freedom and qualified you to be a citizen of the kingdom of light. Jesus died. That means he put his life on the line. His body was broken. His blood was spilled. So by faith, we can now be his children, sons and daughters of the living God. That's why we're here. That's what we celebrate.